Now, the second activity which we are coming to is supply positioning quadrant. Of course, lot of theories have come on that, various people have talked about it. We have also seen the supply position quadrant in earlier chapters. Any product or goods or service we buy or we procure had to have certain characteristics of buy. It is based on certain parameters, but there are two important parameters which have been decided. One is the, uh, the uh, amount of expenditure an organization makes in for that particular product and on the y axis they create what is the impact of that particular product in the business organization. Of course, one of the famous theory which has been propounded by Mr. Uh, Peter Karlick is that supply position model based on the matrix theory which talks about what is the four quadrant levels of products what is being bought by us, bought by a supply uh, department. The impact of the product versus the uh, share of business or money spent or the amount of expenditure for a particular product in x axis. This is one of the finest model which any supply position I mean supply professional, supply chain professional should always have it by heart. This is going to give us a very clear cut understanding of what are the types of products which are, are to be positioned in which quadrant and what are the characteristics of those products. That is going to decide what type of strategies we should adopt because we are not going to have the same strategy for this for all products across what we are buying. Even individually on a personal level we do have different strategies for different people. We have different strategies for different relationship. So, when we are going to buy for an organization exactly the same is being adapted here. Different products are positioned in different quadr quadrants and the strategies executed are also are going to be different. This is what Kralji's model is talking about which talks about four different quadrants. Quadrant 1 which talks about routine, routine items there are certain characteristics let us see what are the characteristics. Then leverage items, quadrant 2 is leverage items. If you go to quadrant 3 is bottleneck items and quadrant 4 is critical items. This is positioned as I was mentioning on the basis of y axis being the impact on business and on the x axis is the spend level or the expenditure level of the particular for the particular product. So, let us start one by one. What do you first of all before going into uh, uh, the different types why all of us know why do we position the supply positioning gives us a overall picture of which product stands where. Should I have to have the same amount of if should I have to put same amount of efforts for buying a routine product vis a vis a critical product. Should I have more leverage products or should I have less bottleneck products. This methodology of understanding comes by positioning uh, the products into various quadrants or positioning the supply into various quadrants. Where do we use this? We use this for market classification, market analysis, taking a, a view of what type of strategies we should adopt and executing a particular plan. Let us now start understanding different quadrants. Quadrant 1 we are talking about routine item. Generally routine items on the principle of Kraljic model which says the business value is also low and the impact of that particular product on your business is also low. So, normally it does not come in our radar at all. A supply professional is not to be too much worried about a routine product because the, the, the level of expenditure is also going to be low there and the impact of that particular product on the business activity is also going to, low, going to be low. That means what? If the product is not available, you are not going to lose sleep 
over that particular non unavailability so what are the types of products which can go into that protein products products which are like consumables low end consumables bolts screws nuts stationary items you can add on anything so products which are not coming in a big way of impacting a business activity we will position them in protein quadrant leverage quadrant leverage quadrant is also the impact of the particular product segment or product group is very less on the business activity but the amount of money spent or the spend level of those products are going to be very high so it is a very peculiar situation for us or a wonderful situation for a supply chain professional the impact on the business is low whereas i am going to spend a lot of money there are a lot of suppliers who are going to be there so i can always take leverage i can leverage the number of suppliers because they are all available in the market and i can be able to play with them so that is a perfectly a right quadrant for a supply manager to be in third the bottleneck we are talking about it's a very peculiar situation for us we believe as a supply professional that the particular products spend value is low but the impact of that particular product in our business activity is going to be very high as a supply professional what i think whatever i order somebody has to supply me my suppliers are meant for supplying products for me but from his perspective probably the buy value is going to be very very low and it may not be a priority item for them whereas that is going to really hit our business activity in a big way it's a very very important how we strategize and handle and execute the plants the fourth quadrant is talking about critical where the expenditure value is also very high and the impact levels are also very high obviously there has to be a collaborative approach because it is very important both for us as the buying organization and for the supplier as a supplying organization so just to give an idea about these four we have routine we have leverage we have bottleneck and we have critical quadrants so each one has its own characteristics as well just in, uh, mentioning and the strategies adapted are also going to be different for different quarters. Mm -hmm.